Um, so, I guess, what, I, I, you're kind of a newcomer to this situation, but Iowa, what do you see in them offensively that you know makes them a little bit of a unique challenge? Uh, it's very physical. They're very physical. They're a disciplined team on all factors, offense, defense, special team. And it's going to be a bloodbath. And this is the game that we been waiting for, that we wanted. And we can't wait to see the outcome. It was safety. No, you're going to be coming downhill and mm -hmm. delivering some hits yeah. um, in a good game, I guess. How has that maybe changed? Do you, do you have to change your your mindset at all um, in a game like this versus nah. the past teams that you've just faced that, that throw, throw, throw? I don't feel like the mindset changed. Uh, maybe the – usually the teams we play is first primary is pass, of course, and then the secondary is run. This game is probably going to be opposite, but the mindset we have to tackle as safeties and as corners, nickel. So I think our coaches help us a lot to know that hey, we are in the run fit, regardless of who we're playing. So I don't think it'd be a different, just more of a challenge because it's going to be every play most of the time. Coming out of the Oregon game, mm -hmm. how much emphasis over the last week and a half has it been on tackling in space again? Because there were some miss. Oh, yeah, it's a big emphasis, but not just because of Oregon. It's every week, even fall camp and before, like, it's been a big emphasis to tackle in the, in the booth, open field, regardless. All, but that's why we get all hats to the ball. Somebody take their shot and miss. Everybody else come on, come along, try to get the ball a lot. Yeah, what did you think, of it, especially early in the season, what were sort of the ingredients that, that you guys, that made you guys pretty good against the run? Just physical, being more physical than previous teams, and details, gap integrity, and just wanting to tackle and wanting to hit every play. So I think that was the that's the main focus every week. When you look at their running back, does he remind you of anybody you guys have already seen this year, and just will the things he does well? I wouldn't say anybody we've seen this year. He's more of a taller, downhill back. I played Ollie Gordon last year at my previous school. I would say they have kind of similarities. He's going to get the ball, so we have to. We know that, so it's going to be a fun game. What have you seen from Mac in there on tape, the quarterback? He's a a good game. He he knows how to manage the game good, and he knows how to take what the defense gives him. So just our objective is just show him some things and get after him, make him make bad decisions. I feel like I had a pretty solid first few games, a lot to improve on, of course. And my whole mindset just to be able to get around the ball more and make more impact plays on the ball. So that was my main focus, just watching film and seeing like what tendencies I could pick up or what I'm giving to the offense that, you feel me, feel like they could do certain plays. So that's all it is for real. Oh, yeah. Still healthy because I mean you guys are playing a lot. Yeah, the stuff. bye week is was great. Like we all we all needed it as a team. You know we was going all out since fall camp. So the bye the bye week was great. We utilized the bye week good. Coach Smith had a good plan for the bye week to be able to still be physical and still have time to recover. So the bye week was very beneficial. You guys especially like are playing that much, that many snaps. Mm -hmm. um, like how does how does the body come out of that? I mean, do you feel can you feel it? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, I, I do a lot of recovery throughout the week, day-to-day -day basis, via water. Mm -hmm. and I, I live in the training room because I know like, what it takes. So it's just a day-to-day -day process that, I mean, we, we football players, we're going to hurt. We play a very physical game, so it just comes with it. I like the 3.30 game just because, like, you're not rushed, but you don't have to wait all day either. But the night games are always cool, too. No heat is straight business under the light. So that's it's always a good experience to get a night game, too. John, you're talking about you thought the biggest difference was on the back end. You, know, you don't finish too late at night and you just kind of recover. I guess how does that impact you guys? You know, if, if maybe by some miracle you guys play a noon game this year, you know, you could be 
done by the early afternoon. Oh, yeah. You know, versus getting done in midnight or whatever. Well, my massage is already set for Sunday morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they already set. So I'm going to make sure in the morning I get the massage after the game and recovery throughout the whole Sunday, Monday. Like I said, it's, it's a day-to-day -day process for me. Obviously, there wasn't a whole lot of good to take away from Oregon, but you guys picked off one of the best quarterbacks in the country twice in the red zone. Was that one of the things you looked at at the bye and said we can build off of? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like, like you said, DG is one of the best quarterbacks in the country, and he doesn't really make too many mistakes. So for us to be able to bait him and get turnovers, it shows us like, yeah, we can do this versus whoever. So especially they're a passing team. So to be able to pick off him twice early in the first half is, is something to look back to for sure. Did you guys ever play together? Did you uh, no, he he left the year before I got to UCF. But I played him at when he was at Oklahoma last year at Oklahoma. So I, this is my second time playing against him. He beat me twice, so kind of salty. <laughs> okay, the other guy? Yeah. Yep. All right. Appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks.